Because of the tremendous flexibility of Profoto, there are a lot of different ways you can set up a portfolio area. The purpose of this video is to briefly demonstrate some additional built-in options that just might stimulate your creativity. Setting up image-based links to your portfolio areas using widgets is very useful if you want your viewers to have visual access points to your portfolio from multiple pages. Some widget areas appear on every page type, while others, like the bio, footer, and fixed sidebar areas, can be enabled or disabled depending on what type of page is being viewed. Now, this gives you a lot of control over where and how your viewers see and reach your portfolio. There are two types of widgets that are commonly used to create image portfolio links in a widget area. The Profoto Grid widget and the Profoto Custom Icon widget. Since the same process is used to add widgets to any area, I'll first briefly describe these two widgets, then we'll look at some examples. For a full explanation of these widgets, see their corresponding tutorials at the following URLs. Grid widgets are really powerful and flexible. No matter what changes you make to the available space for your grid widget or to the number of grid columns, the images automatically adjust to fit. For example, if you are displaying a two-column grid linking to four specific pages, Profoto will cause the grid to fill the available space with a two-by-two two grid that has as large of images as possible. And Profoto will generate the thumbnails from images you have featured in your posts or pages or have uploaded as a specific category or a custom grid image. Profoto has an impressive number of styling options for grids and grid images, both the text below and the rollover type. To insert a grid into a widget area, go to Appearance Widgets and drag a Profoto grid widget into your desired area. Select your grid type. The most common grid types used for portfolios are Select Posts Pages and a Galleries type. Make your Style and Layout selections and click Save. The grid will fill the width of the area into which it is dragged. So if the width of your sidebar, for example, is 200 pixels, then that will be the width of a grid that's placed there. Take note that the bio and footer area numbered columns change width depending on how many are being used and what kind of content is in them. You can learn a whole lot more about how this works in our bio area video. Custom icon widgets are another great way to display image links. They're very easy to use. Simply upload your image, place the widget, and paste your link. Profoto will still automatically downsize your images if they're too large to fit in the available space, but it won't upsize them to fill larger spaces like grids do. And since there is not a separate styling area for custom icons in Profoto, if you want a certain kind of border or to include text with the image, you need to add those elements to your images before you upload them. For images to be available for use in custom icon widgets, first upload them to Profoto, Customize, Site Settings, Widget Images. Then, when you drag a custom icon widget to a display area in Appearance Widgets, those images will be available to select from. Now, let's walk through some examples of widget area portfolio links. The bio area is the most commonly used widget area for portfolio links because it can be used to display large image links to your portfolios just underneath the header. It's one of the first areas that a viewer sees. First, enable the bio area in Profoto Customize Bio Area. There, you'll also select on what page types you want the bio area to display and whether you want it 
open by default or to slide open when the menu link is clicked. Then go back to the widgets area and drag a Pro Photo Grid widget to one of the bio area columns. Choose a galleries grid type and then the style and layout options you want and save your changes. If you set your bio area as minimized so that it slides down from a menu link, here's what that looks like. A bio area set to shown normally appears as an extra content section between your header and your poster page content. If you want your grid to span the width of your content area, use the bio area spanning column or a numbered column when none of the other numbered columns are in use. If any of the other numbered columns are in use, that will force a numbered column grid to shrink to fit the smaller column size. If you are using an external site or service for your portfolio areas, then you can link to those URLs by creating custom grid items and selecting custom grid as your grid type. When creating custom grid items, you upload an image in the custom grid item area that is large enough for Profoto to create the differently sized thumbnails it might need. Another way to link to external sites is by using custom icon widgets. These can be linked to any URL, internal or external. Here are some examples of what that looks like in the bio area. Once again, for more information on how the bio area works, see its related tutorial here. The sidebar gives you the same options as the bio area, really. Because it lacks the width that the bio area can have, any portfolio image links here tend to be pretty small, especially when displaying them side by side in columns. Now, if your site has an active sidebar, it might be a nice place to insert a grid or a group of custom icons that link to your portfolio galleries. Here's an example of a single column grid in a fixed sidebar. And here's what a two column grid would look like. The footer area is almost identical to your bio area, except that it shows up at the bottom of your site and has both top and bottom spanning columns. Grid and custom icon widgets can be used for linking to portfolios here as well. And here are some examples of that. In the first video, we showed how to make a gallery to slide down from a menu link. And you've just seen how the bio area can be set to slide down. In addition, the content of any WordPress page can be made to slide down from the menu. For portfolios, you can slide down a page that contains a gallery or a page that contains a grid that links to your multiple portfolio areas. For this look, simply create the page that you want to slide down first. Then, when you're creating the menu link to that page, set it to slide down page content on same page instead of load page normally. Here's a grid page sliding down. And here's a page with a gallery sliding down. If all you have in your page is a gallery, then sliding down that page is really the same as sliding down just the gallery, which you can do from a specific Profoto gallery link. As you can see, there are a lot of options to choose from when creating your portfolio area, and you're not limited to just one. Giving your viewers multiple ways to access your portfolios on multiple pages certainly increases the chances that they'll be impressed by your work.